Ooh, what's up folks? It's your girl T. Welcome back to my channel, Trying to Stay True. And we are switching gears and we're gonna check out some Sam Onella Academy. Um, Sam Onella is an artiste. He is awesome. His horribly drawn depictions of people and historical events are chef's kiss, top notch, man. It is absolutely hilarious. And we're gonna watch uh, obscure measurement, obscure units of measurement. I can read. I promise y'all I can read. Okay. Um, side note. So it was brought to my attention that some of my videos were, um, the audio was too low. So I'm fixing that. I had no idea the audio was so low and I do apologize for that. So I am actively fixing it. So hopefully, um, uh, majority of the videos that I'm even referring to are fixed by this point. So but yeah, let's let's get into the video. Hey kids, I've been told by a lot of people that there's nothing more exciting than the metric system. They may have a point, mm -hmm. but I can still prove them wrong. Today, we're going to talk about some specific lesser known units of measurement. First is the Schmidt Pain Index. Now, anybody could tell you that getting stung by a bug tends to hurt, uh, but why in the eye? does one sting hurt compared to another? Are yellow jackets worse than hornets? Are fire ants worse than honeybees? Mm -hmm. Nobody in the world of science knew for sure. That is, until a young upstart by the name of Justin Schmidt decided to boldly go where no entomologist has gone before. But how did he plan to quantify the level of pain caused by different insects? He willingly well, got stung by shit? Like this. All right, honeybees. Ow, God, that hurt. <laughs> give that like a two. Next, paper wasp. Okay, that's like a three. Next, let's try. <laughs> Oh no. Jesus Christ, you yeah. mother of Satan's left nipple. It's like my hand is made entirely out of urethras, and each and every one is having a red hot catheter put in and oh. put down five times every second. My very being is on oh. fire. My only desire left is for death himself to bless me with sweet relief. Oh! Oh God! That description of the paint. Like, Grant, I watched a video of someone. I forget the name of this douche, you know, but he willingly gets, like, stung by shit. I don't know, for shits and giggles, so he can experience the pain. He's pretty much doing the exact same thing that this dude is doing. Um, he posted this stuff on YouTube. I, I really cannot, for the life of me, think of what his channel is. But, yeah, he did that with a, with a freaking bullet ant, bro. He, you can see, like, the muscles in his forearm just straining. Like, he was on the floor just, like this bro i was like y'all couldn't be me i don't fuck with bugs so mm -mm. Give that a four. No. Four plus, four plus. <laughs> index is meant to be logarithmic like earthquake magnitude so just okay. like a magnitude seven earthquake is ten times as powerful as a magnitude six a bullet ant sting causes a hundred times as much pain as a honeybee in total schmidt catalogs right. 78 different species of 78 includes ants bees and wasps you can tell mm. a man after getting stung by 77 insects, he says to himself, you know what? That wasn't enough. I need one more creature to And he killed him, did it? And only then will this list be complete. I guess you could say he just really gave a shit. Mm. Next is the <laughs> Waffle House. So for those of you that didn't know, the Waffle House is one of the most resilient establishments. Yes. Whereas most restaurants would simply close down in the event of, say, a hurricane, Waffle House just goes from their normal mode to disaster response mode. Which is the same shit. That allows that location to keep serving customers in spite of low food supply or even a power outage. In response to this business practice, FEMA came up with what is known as the Waffle House Index, which is a system to easily That's assess real. how badly an area is damaged by a natural catastrophe. If the Waffle House is fully open, they're in the green, which means things are basically fine. If the Waffle House is using their low supply menu, you're in the yellow, which means that the area is almost certain. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Wait, uh, cotton picking a minute. I'm about to look this shit up. Yes. It's like, I know he's, what he's saying is real, but like, cause it said it's real, but I had to look. So this is from March 25th, 2020 from NBC News. Coronavirus is a Waffle House index red. Okay. All right. 
Good to know. Finally, if you're in the red, that means the Waffle House is either closed or gone. Now that's a mm -hmm. sort of real nuclear zombie holocaust type Coronavirus? So if you're not already dead, you should probably vacate the area. Most engineers could tell you that, structurally speaking, the triangle is the strongest of all shapes. But I believe mm -hmm. there's one shape that's even stronger. Godspeed, Waffle House. Next, we have the Apgar score. So the Apgar Waffle score is a lit, rating though. system used by hospitals to determine how healthy a newborn baby is. Scale from zero to ten. It's called Afgar. Based you can get food and a fight for less than ten dollars. Pulse, grimace, activity, and respiration. And each of these okay. is rated on a scale from zero to two to get your final score. Personally, I think this set of standards is a little flawed. Here's an example. Well, it's completely blue, and it doesn't um. really want to move at all. But it's got a really fast heartbeat, and it's screaming really loudly. Um. I give this baby like a six out of ten. That's good enough. So what? Response, Six out of ten. My own rating system. It's called the Ragu score. R is for the reflexes. Ragu. It's common knowledge that if you hold any healthy baby by its feet and then drop it, it'll always land up right. If your baby can't do that, that's a sure sign that it's defective. A is for abnormal. Don't try that, please. If seems weird. That's typically a good indicator that it's weird. G still stands for grimace, just like in the Apgar test. Fucking <laughs> stupid. Only instead of looking at the baby's facial expression, you just bring grimace from McDonald's into the room and see how the baby reacts. If it starts crying, that's a good sign because grimace is absolutely fucking terrifying. And finally, mm -hmm. you is for ugliness, just because that <laughs> might sway your decision on whether or not you want to keep it. <laughs> if it passes the test, it gets to go home. But if it fails, then it gets shipped off to the factory and made into ragu, hence the name uh. of the test. Some people might be upset by this fact, but you know what they yes. say. Yes. Pray go today, ragu tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam and Ella. Thank you for watching. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Sam Onella. <sighs> that video was top tier as always. Um... He just has a really good way of giving you random, like, factual information in a way that's easy to digest and, you know, with some comedic points to it. Like, I like that. I actually really enjoy watching um, videos that are, like, history-related and things like that. Um, I enjoy learning about history. I know. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. I know. I know. I know. But... Um, let me know if you guys, uh, enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Sam Onella if you haven't already. Um, I will link this video down in the description down below. I've been so terrible about, le about letting you know that I actually do put the original video down below. Um, I have to do that, especially since, um, some videos I've been trying to, like, edit and, like, you know, upload for you guys. It's been getting, like, blocked, so I have to, like, cut segments out and stuff, so... I at least link the original in case you've never seen it before. That way you can like easily have easy access just to go find it. Um, but yeah, that's all folks. I liked the video. Um, I hope you guys did too. It's your girl T. It's my channel trying to say it true. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what else you want me to react to. Till next time. Peace.